guys, what's up? Uh, I'm not here for a battle, but actually a video tutorial on how I upload and process my videos. Editing, recording, all that good stuff. Because I know a lot of you, or maybe some of you, have Macs and like to do battles, but they do not know how to do it because, like, Mac resources for Pokemon are pretty limited. So I'm basically going to show you how I got my stuff where I got it. That'll be all in the description and stuff, very easy. But you want to start out with, is the most important thing, is your Decimi recorder. Make sure you have the Mac version, that's pretty important, because we are going to be using the Mac version in this tutorial. Second version, or second thing you're going to need is the QuickTime player. Should be already with your computer, it has a built-in screen recorder. All you need to do is go to File, Screen Record, it's right there. Uh, set, third thing is Handbrake, which will be your video processor converter to make videos smaller. Then lastly, you need iMovie, which is your basic editor. And that's really all you need for a Mac. You don't need any Camtasia or anything fancy like that. It's really simple. So once you have your video all done in your R4, make sure you stick it in the back of your computer. It should be there. It'll read your file, and it'll sh make sure you can find your um, SAR file. It should be right there in the either directory or in a folder in your R4. So once you have that, go ahead and open up your Decimi. And you're going to get it opened as a black screen like that. Go ahead and make sure it's open at full. And when I like to screen record, I like to record the background of it. So make sure you can get a nice uh, shot of that if you like to do the same thing that I do. But before you do anything, go ahead and go find it into your R4, into the directory of it. Go to games. Um, click and find your DS, NDS file. That is what you're going to be using when you load your game. But the most important thing you're going to need is your SAT file. And we have to change that in order to make it so that it will read our save file. But uh, let's just delete these two things and I'll explain later. But first, wh what you're going to want to do is go ahead and copy your save file. So we'll go ahead and do that. Copy and then paste it in the same location. Now, it's going to show as a copy. Just rename it. Now rename it to DST. That is the file that is um, going to be read by our Decimi emulator. Because that's the only file it will read. And then paste again and then rename it as uh, DSV. So you got DST and DSV. That'll make it basically so that the DS can understand what save files you're using and stuff like that. So once you have that all done in Hunky Dory, uh, you got your save file, NDS, DST. Go ahead and X out of that, and you're going to want to load up your save file. So I'll kind of jump cut to that and show you where you're at. You can kind of navigate from there. So once you have your save file and all the video all recorded, you just go file screen record on your QuickTime player. And then click play on the play button on your DS. Uh, Decimi and record from there. It usually takes 20 to 30 minutes, uh, at least for my computer. Might take maybe 15 to 20 for yours. It all depends on how fast your computers are and how much processing uh, space they have. So once that's all done, uh, go to the directory to where you saved your um, your save file or not your save file, your video. It should be as a .mob, and you can also rename it to wherever you like. So I renamed it appropriately to this. And uh, as you can see, this one is pretty large. It's 320 or 315 megabytes. So that's definitely way too large to go put into iMovie. It'll take way too long. So if that is the problem that you have, like me, then you're probably going to want to go ahead and you open up Handbrake, which is going to be shrinking your video. So once you have that, you can go ahead and look for your file. It should be in the same place in the directory of your computer, but it's taking a while to load, as you can see. Go Mac back, Mac, blah blah blah, and find your uh, video. 315 megabytes should be the most recent one, right there. Okay. So once you have that video file, you can see that's going to be put in the same place, same name. It's just going to be a little smaller. The only thing you really need to change, other than the file size, just going to click large file size, MP4. Keep it the way it is for now. Everything else is fine, fine, hunky dory. So we can go ahead and click start. And then from there, it's going to basically shrink my video. It'll take maybe another 20 minutes or so. It's not really that bad. And it'll be all done and stuff. So, yeah. Once it's all done, it should be reduced to probably two-thirds of its original size. So, in this case, I'm going to show you what it looks like once it's all done. So, we'll go back to where we found our video. And, um, yeah. Oh, it doesn't... If it doesn't, um... If it is a bigger file size than you still want, you can just go ahead and shrink it again. You can take the original size and shrink it again. It never hurts the quality. But as you can see here, 
Um, the quality is really, really good. And as you can see, it didn't really do anything. Handbrake keeps the quality the same. But the file size is smaller. But the only problem we have right now is that the file or the file is too slow or the video is too slow. So we're going to have to fix that in um, iMovie because the QuickTime player can only record as fast as the DSMV goes. So that's something to keep in mind if you um, do not like QuickTime. But personally, I, it's not a problem because I'm going to show you how you can fix that very easily. So go ahead and open up iMovie. Um, it's probably going to load up your pre-existing project if you uh, already have iMovie. Otherwise, it'll just upload basically to a blank slate. As you can see, I have a folder right here specifically des designated for my battles and stuff. But we're gonna, not going to need that. We're going to open up a new project and rename it to Tutorial. Yeah, something like that. Uh, keep the frame rate the same. It has to be at 24. It's pretty important. I don't like to use cross resolves or any kind of transitions like that. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Uh, got to change the title. So once it's all changed, um, you're going to just open up with a blank canvas basically to which you can work with. Now, make sure you have a like a, a folder that you can um, keep your stuff in. Like I have battles for mine. And we're going to go ahead and just import our video. So keep everything the same. we got to add to the same event. So in this case, battles. So make sure it's in a designated folder to which you can find your stuff easily, which is what I'm going to do. Go ahead and find the same place where our folder is. And also make sure it is the correct file because uh, we don't want to select the 350 megabyte one or that'll take twice as much or twice the amount of time. So yeah, but uh, for that sake, I'm not going to actually show you how that goes because you can see that yourself. I'm just going to already take a pre-existing recording that I have and show you how I can work with that. So we're just going to take a little chunk of this right here and we'll show you how that works. All the fixings and whatnot. So, uh, make sure you don't change the frame rate, that's pretty important. Uh, keep at 24, 24 is the best frame rate for your videos. But as you can see right here, I'm just going to show you a little clip of how fast it will go right here. Actually, we're going to go to clip adjustments before we do that. But right now it's at 100% speed, which is like the mid-level speed. But obviously for our videos, that's going to be a problem because our videos are slow at 100% speed. So, what you want to do is first go to 400 just to see what that looks like and go ahead and click play on the playhead and it'll basically go to a normal speed this is what your videos will look like normal when you play them on your DS via the versus recorder but we will go a little faster because for narrations usually everything is a little faster uh, that was double negative because <laughs> um, you want to go at a faster pace when you're narrating your battles you can go play by play basically and as you can see it goes pretty fast for narrating and stuff now there's personal preferences to how fast you want to narrate your videos and stuff like that. But um, it's all really all up to you, I think. 700% is a little too fast for me because my computer is fast enough to the point where it doesn't need to be sped up that much. So yeah, it all depends on how comfortable you are with the narrating process and how fast your videos want to be. Or if it's for the sake of um, time and stuff because I know some people have really slow computers and they might have a balance up to, you know, I don't know, 12 minutes. So um, the point of basically shrinking these battles is not only to reduce the time that it takes, but also to make it quick and easy for the narrators. So it's way more of a convenience. But um, obviously for people like me, you're going to want to narrate your battles. So once you have your mic set, in which you should know how to do by now, <laughs> you want to um, make sure it's testing your voice, as you can see by the bars right here. You click, you click at the beginning of your video, and then just press click, and it would start narrating, count down to 3, 2, 1. And it, from there, you can just narrate your entire battle. So yeah, that's pretty easy to do. It's pretty straightforward. Again, make sure it's at a comfortable pace. Stuff like that. Stuff and words and things. So from here, once you're narrated, everything's good to go. Speed up. Uh, I'm going to show you the basic transitions and stuff that I like to use. I like to do fade to black um, for the beginning of my videos. At, or at the end of my videos. At the beginning of my videos, I like to put little random effects. Like I like the mosaic a lot. Let's see how that looks. Eh, it's pretty good. Might try that later. But yeah, it's some other stuff you can experiment with. Um, you can put text on the bottom or on the top, wherever you want to put it. Uh, it's just like some uh, like some you know show notes for the viewers to watch while they're watching the battle. Now, for me personally, I like to put the icon of myself on the um, video. So you would just drag it on there, click picture in picture, and it's gonna put it so that it's layered on the top of it. Now, obviously, this is a little too um, messed up for me, so I'm gonna not click Ken Burns and click Crop to Fit and that will fit very nicely and you just kind of adjust it and move it towards wherever you like 
I like to put it towards the bottom so it doesn't interfere interfere with the rest of the battle. So yeah, um, come back for tarp part two. I'm gonna go more into ending details. Now you can really uh, spice up your video. So peace, guys. See ya.